Hey everybody, this is Stephen Alec of The Cage, and I'm here today to teach you about transcoding Canon XF100 files to Apple ProRes 422 using Adobe CS Media Encoder. Uh, if you shot your film with a Canon XF100 camera, you've probably come across the complexity of its codec. The XF100 records its files into a complex file called the MXF. Now, you can find that here. So I've shot something on it. And as you can see, it breaks it into all of these different files here. And this is the, this is the file that you're trying to get. Now, the problem is that Final Cut Pro won't open this MXF file. Uh, Premiere and Avid will, and so you should use those um, for, for, for editing these. Uh, but if you absolutely have to use Final Cut 9 or lower, this is how to transcode it to the native codec, which is Apple ProRes 422. Um, my understanding is that Final Cut 10 does transcode pretty well, but uh, Final Cut 10 is a joke. It's ridiculous. So we're just going to talk about how to transcode. Um, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to open up Adobe Media Encoder. And that's going to be in Applications. Okay. This is Adobe Media Encoder. So we're going to open this up. And what this is going to do is this program is going to turn that MXF into Apple ProRes 422. Uh, just to be safe, I'm going to close this picture of Ryan Gosling so he doesn't distract me with his beautiful blue eyes. All right. Just wait for this guy to open up. All right. So here we have our queue, and this is where we put our files that we want to transcode. So we're going to hit plus. Let's add source. And from there, we can import our MXF files. Now, we're going to go to the Canon XF contents there. All right. Now it's going to say clips. This is our file here that we want to translate. Can't open this in Final Cut Pro as it is. We're going to open it up. And it's going to put it in CS6, and it's automatically going to want to turn it into an F4V. Now, we don't want that. We're going to hit QuickTime, and then where it says NTSC DV24P, we're going to click on that, and we're going to get a custom. Now, this is our footage. I took a picture of a spider that's outside the window of the ninth floor. He's like Spider-Man if Spider-Man were a spider. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is decide where our output's going to go. I'm going to call it call it spider. I already have one earlier. I'm just going to call this spider man S spider. Okay. Just going to save. All right. Now it says NTSC. We're just going to leave that where it is right now. Under video codec. We're going to go to Apple ProRes 422, we'll click that, and right now it's at 720 by 480. Now you can leave that there if you want it to be in standard def, but we don't want that to be in standard def. We want that to be in 1920 by 1080p, because that is true high def. Look how much bigger that is. That's the decompression. It's going to be a bigger file once you decompress it. So make sure that you leave some space for storing uh, Apple Pro Res 422. All right. Put this on 24 frames per second. We're going to put it on square pixels. You can futz with these. These can be a little bit different, but you definitely want the 1920 by 1080, and you definitely want it to be the Apple Pro Res 422, like I said up there. All right, now we are going to save this to, let's just save it to desktop. And we hit OK. Now it's all set up. It's ready to go to our custom format. It knows where to go. Now all we're going to do is going to hit Start Queue. And it immediately starts transcoding it here. All right. So it's transcoding. There goes the spider. I'm sorry if you're afraid of spiders. I am a little bit too. All right. There we 
we go. Uh, earlier, but I'm going to show you how to do this again. You're going to go import files desktop Spider-Man Spider and hit choose and then it just pops right up. And since it's in a beautiful codec that runs beautifully on this program, we just set it right there and it's all ready to go. Look, there it goes. You don't have to do with it rendering, it'll just fling right through it. All right. And now you know how to transcode MXF files. Uh, if you have any questions, you can email us at the cage or you can just come and ask. We also have a text format of this exact lesson uh, available for you at the cage. So have a good shoot and more importantly, have a great edit.